Alright, a week ago, I ended up making a video how to decompile the regular Minecraft launcher. Well, it's updated and it's a, a lot different. I'll just delete my SRC and show you how to do it. First of all, just go to minecraft.net. Pretty sure everyone knows this, but. You can go to download. Why am I not locked in? What have you got there? Okay, so, um, we're download now. Okay. Show all platforms. See this one? Minecraft.jar. When you click the show all platforms, just click it and it will download it. And you can make a folder in your desktop. Now you're going to need JDGY. I put it in the description of my last video, so I'll put it on this one as well. So, what you do is you can just drag it onto it or just open but preferences make sure these two are ticked and display line numbers is unticked makes it look better you know, save all sources file save all sources and put it like there alright so I can just delete this project and show you how to make one so now you're going to need a clips you can use another Java program if you know about it, but yeah, new Java project, project name, let me know, MC So, you can have this little project. So, where it has SRC, you right click on it, import, archive, uh, general archive file from archive file and put in wherever you decompiled it with that JDGY just where the save all sources just put it there so now you have a bunch of errors I'll show you how to fix them we'll start with util so right here whoa this is all messed up but I did mine a bit of a different way but what I did is I changed this to a comment so, if you scroll on the top, you can see this string str system get property os name to lowercase contains win its windows if the plans met. met. So, what I'll do is uh, just put that there here. So, if os dot contains win. On my last video I ended up changing something but I don't suggest that because I've figured out that that will not work on a Mac if you use that other tutorial but anyway this one will make it work. So what you do is local file equals new file and then you can put like system this case 3 seems to be windows so put that there comma and then you can put like yeah put a semicolon there I actually replace these things with the double quote <sighs> Yeah, um, I don't think you have to, I've never tried it, but, so now we got Windows working, else if os.contains Mac, yes, this one's pretty simple, in fact it's right here, there you go, simple one. else and you can put like the vault um, I'm just going to put this one oh. 
So you can change that to three from three to one. So there will be user dot home, and then it'll have which will be keep it keep on Windows, and then it will have um, dot Minecraft. But since we got if it has Win, you'll get up application data or roaming. If it's Mac, you'll go to that. I don't have a Mac. Else, it will just go to this. So, yeah. Now you can scroll down to more errors. Array of byte. Create local variable array of byte. Byte. Okay, so that fixes some. Scroll down more. Return. Change type of array byte one to string. Okay, that fixes it. Throw a local object. And just delete it. So, utils done. And, uh, right here. There's some things like, oh, you could put all this shit. I don't know. I don't see they can even do anything. What? Yeah, you can try messing around with that. I don't really worry. It doesn't do anything. So now the next one, textured panel. Point 2D is very, very easy to fix. Import point 2D. Fixed. Options panel. Val, okay. When they have these Val dollar symbol things, you can just delete the Val things. And then where there's like a, something like in a bracket, just delete the delete that. But sometimes you might want to cut like Control X because sometimes these things do not exist. In the older launcher, they didn't, but they've been renamed to local J button one. So now it says, oh, they're not final. Change it to final. There we go. So two local two. Now this didn't happen with the older launcher, but when it has equals new trips and has something like that, and the, the first bit's a number, just copy this bit, like Control C, change the number to the thing. And there we go. So now options panel is done. Login form. So here the same thing new. And here there's a vowel, so delete, delete, vowel, delete, local seven, J text prime thing. So now there's more val. See how I said control X on some of them? Because they've been renamed. Yeah, you gotta do that. And then we'll say they're not final, so let's make them final. Now, right, if you notice right here, the MC update tumor, that's actually the site. So you can change that and make it like Google or a Dropbox web page to like a modder thing you can I made like something similar to Technic with this so transparent label change that 11 to transparent label so login form is fixed now we got game updater and launcher frame so I'm the now this one was actually kind of unusual the question marks first of all we need to put string but since question marks are not actually like can be called a name so AAA you can call it whatever you want Just change the question marks to something like AAA 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 a bit confusing but yeah so now we got the local object so create local variable okay cannot be resolved as a variable, so create local variable array of boolean and this one, create local variable and right here, this zero, should be a zero, it should be false so here go to the third one and we'll have 
change type or local object to byte thingy. So we'll do that, and that fixes both of them. So now we have a couple here. The new thread, you can change three to thread. And there's a vowel and another vowel. So here's the weird part. Um, URL connection has been renamed to Palm URL connection, so copy that, paste it. And IS has been renamed to uh, Array of Input Stream. So, and then it just wants you to put on the final. I'm pretty sure. So, change it to final. To the final here. So new thread. Oh, and you, since I had the vowels, you go delete some things. There we go. Local object one, create. Local object two, create. Now some. When I did the local variable thing here, it didn't really work too well because look, when I did it, I put this thing up here. Now why did it do that? So put jar entry in front of it. Otherwise, it screws up code from the bottom somewhere around here. So now we fixed uh, the net Minecraft. Now let's go to LZMA. See range decoder. It's just got an import thing that you don't even need. So now that one's fixed. Here's another couple imports that are, you don't need. And here, it just says not converted into a byte. So what we'll do is add cast byte, add cast byte, add cast byte and all these eyes that have errors and J create local variable J which will make it an int and here create local variable I and there we go K create local variable K so now we fixed all the class files, but there's one thing you need to do. I noticed this problem. It did it with the other one, the 1.2 launcher too. So here you, are, you can modify shit, but when you go to update it, I'll just pause the video until it downloads. Alright, it's 80%. So this is what happens when it finishes. You get this error. Fatal error code no extracting these to these. Now I'm gonna show you how to fix that. Go to a game updater and search pack two hundred. Mm -hmm. Okay, when you find the protected string trim extension by capabilities, if pack is supported, if Lozma is supported, just delete this the not thing. I don't know why they will put that there. So that's what you do. So now watch this. When you get a force update, it should actually work. So while this downloads, I'll pause it again. Okay, it's gone 92 in this native. And it extracts, and you should be playing Minecraft. You put it up there. Yeah, so now we got that bit. Now, here's something I was a bit slack on the last one. We had this URL right here. This is something that was a bit um, 
necessary. So, look, this is what I did. System dot out dot print line. Oh, just put I. I think it's J now, but U R L list J. This is going to help you with something. Now, what's going to happen? Oh, ASDF. It does that on the console, the regular one. No, no, no. Okay, I don't know why I did that. I think it's I. There's one of these. Ugh. God damn it. I'll just print I then. Yeah, I. I forget which it was. Five, 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 five. Um. Yeah, on my last one, I did something like if I e e equals equals three this will change and we can have a new URL like a URL2 could be that so here we'll just do like your local URL two. Else we'll get to that. Now have a look what I did on my last launcher. Hold on one minute. Okay, I found out we well, worked out the confusion. I was is now J and Jar Count is now J. I mean, I, I don't know. Yeah, J jar count is I, and I is J. A little confusing, but yeah. Have a look. This is what made me download the thing. If it equals 3, so that will mean if uh, J equals 3. Yeah, J. And, um, yeah. Hmm. So, I'll make it just like, uh, Try it again. System dot out. D yeah. Print line. URL list. J. See what that's like. Will that give the list, or is it just going to say no? Okay, here we go. So, as you can see, it changes from mine. Yeah, changes Minecraft dot jar to from Minecraft. It changes the link to Minecraft download to fag Minecraft. Now, here's something a little annoying. It puts this deprecated ticket thing on there. You probably don't want that to happen. So, we can just search by going to search file. So, well, on the last one it worked when I did that search, but, oh, question mark, oh, maybe too many question marks, I reckon, hmm, maybe I should have not, cancel, cancel, oh, crap, <sighs> get 
me to. Oh shit. Hold on a minute. Alright, so. Sorry about that. I had to close the clips. I had to crash it with too many question marks. But, okay, let's continue back onto this. Alright, so. Thinks that it's got. MC Mortuary has got errors. Don't know why. Okay, announcement. Oh yeah, don't forget to delete me to inf, otherwise you can't export it. So I'm gonna do something like I've got a Dropbox account, so I've already done something, so public right uh, I'll cut that. So here's what tells it to update. Um, and here's the Minecraft.jl it downloads. So yeah, you'll copy the link of that. Go to game updater. Updater. Oh, hurry up. Find that part with the URL. Yeah, here we go. We'll change. So now we can just search Minecraft.jar. So it's in Launcher. So go to Launcher here. So here's the part that says like user and stuff. You can just delete all of this bullshit. So now Oh yeah. For some reason when I modify launcher it seems to want to run it as an applet. I don't know why it does that. So let's launch it as launcher frame. Really weird glitch. I oh, yeah, might gonna get rid of this ASDF thing. It does it on the official launcher. Okay, this is the wrong launcher. This is it. The launcher from here. It's this one. The oh, one, well, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so now it goes to Dropbox client update so now we got a bug when you get a force well I haven't actually tried it on the new launcher but it did this on the old one when I went to force update when it goes to download minecraft.jar it just kept stopping and then it will download again and then it will stop and download again and stop and download stop it was kind of annoying So, I'll show you what's going to happen. See if it does it on this new launcher. See, it's downloading Minecraft a bit too fast because it's on Dropbox. And then when it goes to like 99%, it like messed up. Or, yeah, see, it, it tries downloading again, and then eventually says it failed, although it didn't actually fail. So I'll see what I. I deleted some part. Yeah, here. Unsuccessful attempts. This thing was pissing me off. <laughs> course it would be renamed so what line subnet message yeah I deleted this aha this is what we can do Oops. oh wait we were on the wrong one okay so 
here is the annoying bullshit. So we do that and do that. What's this? Uh oh. Okay, there we go. So just you can change it to a comment. Hmm. Would you like to update? Yes, please. I would like to update. One day, four point three point two was out. I don't know. I think it's just doing that because um, you know. Oh, it's actually downloading Minecraft.jar first. Oh, okay, I need that because it's random. But um, yeah. When it just cancel while it's downloading, you'll say, "Would you like to update?" Does on the regular one too when it's exported from not just site. So looks like it's working. Oh yeah. So now you get it to download that. What you're probably thinking, hmm, I want it to make it so for example on my update thing. Here's my actual launcher. Keep these coming, logging in, etc. So, but if I change this number to two, and go on here. Well, well, probably that's the update actually. So, well, it uploads. Okay, it's done. So. This part was pretty down hard. I don't know if I'm very good at explaining, but because when I change that file, it will say, "Would you like to update the client?" So, yeah, I'll just change that back to one. But I used the save and load method I did for my actual client and put it on the launcher. So, on my game updater, I had mods. So I had this try thing. I'll put this in the description. Like, yeah. But, yeah. I'm going to try my best of explaining or trying to get this to work. So. I think it has actually changed. Mm, sort of, yeah, it's changed a little. But, uh, so, I don't know what this I is. So, if, what's this do? If you did not skip the update and you didn't force update, it will say, Would you like to update? I'm assuming. So, yeah. I don't know what this, but I I will just delete that. So in util, we can find the area. Like here's a good spot. Find working directory. This will start every time you turn on your client. So now I'll look in my other util. Had to look this up many times to make it download. So here you go. So here's the part. It will try and load a file. So it needs to try I'm pretty sure. So buffered reader, new buffered reader. So, and there's no mods class. I'm a, I would recommend making like a class file, oh, not an in num. I would recommend making a class file to keep some stuff. It it really does help. So, 
Yeah, yeah. So working directory does not exist because it's been renamed to local file. So mod version you can do like for example ver int version equals zero. So it will I think I have to import something, yeah. Do I have to import any Oh yeah, we could put this a little in the bottom, maybe there. So, what version? Static. Yeah, static int. So, now we gotta do something like x catch exception or oh, it needs to be brackets sorry e so um probably put this somewhere like maybe there local file maybe right on the bottom actually yeah so, catch exception you can do system dot error dot print on e. So if there's any problems like so, you'll go to your directory in the kippy version. You can just name this version dot text. So. It loads. It will load the version thing. It will set the to that. So now we gotta get the URL part. Yeah. So what would happen is it will download this update dot text in version download so if there's any problems for example if I play this, this sh I should get errors file not found exception so if e dot con String e e equal plus e e e so it contains that we could do mods as downloaded equals false. Boolean has download actually we we'll change this to true so it will say if you have download so now we can go to game update so if you didn't skip the update, like saying yes I want to update I'm assuming, uh, I don't know. So if you want to force update, it will do all this, so if should update. or. Okay, I'm confused. What does skip update do? Hold on one minute. Okay. So right here. Blip. If you didn't force update. Uh, so if we didn't force update. And. Monster. Uh, 
Hold on. Me too. If you get all this. If version download is greater than version it's mod sort version so if version is greater than the mods got update equals true we haven't where's my recording 35 minutes okay don't know if you're still watching so static update equals false okay so if version download seems to be greater than version update will be true so if we get a game update if mods update it will say would you like to update or if you if you want to force update or mods dot I don't know just, I don't know what that means so if you went to force update or mods dot um has downloaded yeah what am I doing wrong so if you went to force update or you have not downloaded it it will check for the I don't know if this is going to work actually but we may as well see oh wait before we do that we have to make it so it will if you should update now this was actually taken directly from my client because look if you went to show coordinates <laughs> I don't know something so game update if should update you have to import muffin rear right up file right up so we'll get version.txt I'll put I'll put every single one of these. Mm. So this can say oh I cannot find it. Oh. So when you download Okay. No, obviously it did not work. So, game update. If you want the force update or you haven't downloaded it. Hmm. Hold on one minute. You could try putting or mods dot update. So if you didn't go to force update and you want to update and mods dot has downloaded Yeah. Oh, 
system dot uh, dot print um, mod stop has download. This will just tell us like true, false. See if it really does. Okay. Looks like the file exists. See version dot text zero. But we'll delete that. False because it can't find the file so it should download it hopefully yeah downloading packages yeah this is probably one of my longest videos so if you're still watching this thank you So now, in my dot .minecraft, version should be 1, not 0. Oh shit. Okay, what did we do wrong here? I think this should go on the top. Like, this should go first. So. If I get a login, probably got to ask, would you like to update? Yeah, we'll update, see if it fixes it. Downloading packages, so while that downloads, we'll check the version. So now it looks like I've actually got the updating part to work. Now Dropbox is a really common thing I would use. It's, I recommend it for this sort of stuff. For like downloading in Minecraft. So now let's test forced update. Or we'll actually just log in again, see if it updates anyway. Nope, it goes straight to the game. So I think I have actually finished the tutorial, but this is a long ass tutorial. I think it goes for like 40 minutes. Almost an hour. Oops. So now, let's see what happens if we go to Dropbox and change it. Would you like to update? Excellent. No. Let's try force updating while there is an update. Yeah. Well, thank you for watching my tutorial. I hope this will very really help you with your own launcher. You can even change like Tumblr. Oh, I don't know how to spell it, but we'll search dot com. See launcher. Yes, I've seen it. Minecraft. Looking for aha. So here's something you can do. Try go into Dropbox and make your own web page like html document I'll show you mine open with chrome see this tells me everything like 
my update log and I put a nice background with it. So that's what I'll do. I'll change it to this. You can make you go and make your own. If you don't know HTML, then you should get someone else to do it then. Yeah. I don't know why the background's not coming up. Uh, it worked on the last one. I'm a bit confused. Is it going to do it every time? Yes, it's been a dick. Let's leave it to that. Leave it to Tumblr, see if that has a background. Yeah, that has a background. What's with that? Maybe it has to download the background. So we'll set it for a bit. Because my other one didn't do that. Mine just worked. So. Oh, wait, there we go. It actually did load. So, that's it. That's how you make your own client launcher or technic launcher sort of thing. You can make your own. Or you could be just a dumb little bitch that steals other people's passwords. Don't do that, noise boy. But, um, yeah. Thanks for watching. And, yeah. This took me a while to do. So, 46 minutes. See ya. Thank you.